Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you how to identify the maxillary and the mandibular permanent incisors. So let's start with the maxillary incisors. Notice that the maxillary teeth will always have their crowns downward and the mandibular will have their crowns upwards. Same as they are arranged in the jaws. Now look at the labial aspect of the tooth in the first diagram and you will notice that the crown length and the root length are almost same. That is, it has a high crown to root ratio. Also, the cervical incisal and the mesiodistal dimension of the crown are almost comparable. The mesioincisal angle is sharp and the distal incisal angle is a bit rounded. Also, the incisal edge is straight. So, these features indicate that the tooth is maxillary central incisor. Now look at the other maxillary incisor. The crown form almost resembles that of the maxillary central incisor with a few differences. First, the cervical incisal crown length is much greater than the mesiodistal dimension of the crown. The mesioincisal and the distal incisal angles are rounder as compared to the central incisor. The distal incisal angle is uh, much more rounder as compared to the mesioincisal angle. The incisal outline slopes gingivally from mesial to distal. The crown length when compared to root length appears much less as compared to the central incisor. So these features indicate that the tooth is maxillary lateral incisor. Now let's identify the mandibular incisors. In the third tooth, the mesial and distal outlines are straight cervical incisally and the mesioincisal and distal incisal angles are both sharp and similar. The incisal outline is straight and at 90 degrees to the long axis. The root is generally straight with slight or no distal bend. The tooth overall looks very symmetrical. So these features indicate that the tooth is mandibular central incisor. The mandibular central incisor is the most symmetrical tooth. So let's now compare it with the mandibular lateral incisor. The incisal margin appears to slope gingivally towards distal. The distal incisal angle is rounder than the mesoincisal angle. These features indicate that the tooth is mandibular lateral incisor. Now how do we identify the quadrant? Turn the tooth so that the lingual side faces you. The direction of the distal side is the quadrant. For example, if the distal side of a tooth is towards your right, then the tooth belongs to the right quadrant and if the distal side is towards your left, then the tooth belongs to the left quadrant. Let's now go to the lingual aspect of these teeth. In the first tooth, you will notice that the crown is downwards. The lingual fossa is shallow and it is broad. Outline of the crown resembles the general outline on the labial aspect. The root appears conical, straight and with a rounded apex. So all these features indicate that the tooth is maxillary central incisor. In the next tooth, notice that the lingual fossa and cingulum appear more prominent as compared to the central incisor. The palatogingival groove may be seen at times and it is often associated with a lingual pit. Also notice the incisal angles, incisal edge and crown to root ratio. All of these features indicate that this is a maxillary lateral incisor lingual view. Now let's see the mandibular incisors. As with maxillary incisors, the outline form from the lingual view appears same as in the labial view. In the third tooth, the lingual surface is very smooth. There are no supplemental grooves. The lingual fossa is almost insignificant and the cingulum is placed in the center of the tooth mesiodistally. So the tooth basically appears very symmetrical. So these features indicate that it is a mandibular central incisor. In the fourth tooth, notice that the cingulum is offset to distal and the curvature of the cervical line is also offset to distal. The distal incisal angle is rounder than the mesoincisal angle. So these features indicate that the tooth is mandibular lateral incisor. Now to identify the quadrant, simply identify the distal side 
and its direction would indicate the quadrant. If the distal side is towards your right, then it's a right quadrant and if it's towards your left, then it's a left quadrant. Now let's go to the proximal aspect of these teeth. From the proximal view, that is the mesial and distal view, all incisor crowns appear roughly triangular or wedge shaped. In the first tooth, notice that the crown appears very long as compared to the root. The cervical outline has a very prominent curvature. The root appears stocky and some amount of lingual surface is also visible. All these features indicate that it is a mesial view of the maxillary central incisor. Now look at the second tooth. Though it appears almost same to the first tooth in its outline, there are a few differences. First, the crown appears slightly shorter cervical incisally and probably it is due to a rounder distal incisal angle as compared to the mesio incisal angle. The cervical margin also does not show a prominent curvature and the labial surface is more visible from this aspect. So when we compare these features, we can easily say that the first diagram is the maxillary central incisor mesial view and the second diagram is the maxillary central incisor distal view. Let's now go to the next tooth. The tooth appears almost similar to the maxillary central incisor though the crown has slightly smaller dimensions. The labial and the lingual outlines are smooth without any visible lingual or labial surfaces. Now compare this to the next diagram. The tooth appears almost same as the third tooth except the cervical incisal dimension may appear a bit less due to the round distal incisal angle. Second, the cervical line does not have that prominent curvature and the labial surface can be easily seen due to the distal twist of the tooth on its long axis. Now on comparing these features, you will realize that the third tooth is the maxillary lateral incisor mesial view and the fourth tooth is the maxillary lateral incisor distal view. Now let's see the mandibular incisors. The first two teeth appear almost identical and this is a feature which is unique to mandibular central incisor. Since it is a symmetrical tooth, except the curvature of the cervical line. So when you compare the curvature of the cervical line, you will realize that it is more prominent on the mesial side than the distal side. So this is the only feature which will help you identify or which will help you distinguish the mesial view of the mandibular central incisor from the distal view. So the first tooth is the mesial view of the mandibular central incisor and the second tooth is the distal view of the mandibular central incisor. Now take a look at the third and fourth teeth. They appear almost identical except that in the third tooth more of lingual surface is visible and the cervical curvature has more prominence. Whereas in the fourth tooth more of labial surface is visible and the cervical outline is less prominent. So these features help us differentiate between the mandibular lateral incisor mesial view and its distal view. So the third tooth is the mandibular lateral incisor mesial view and the fourth tooth is the mandibular lateral incisor distal view. Now to identify the quadrant, same as previous cases, rotate the lingual side towards yourself and the direction of distal side will help you identify the quadrant. Let's now go to the incisal aspect. In the first diagram, the mesiodistal dimension is greater than the facio-lingual dimension and the outline is roughly triangular. The incisal edge is straight and almost at the center of the tooth facio-lingually. The facio-lingual dimension is greater on the distal side as compared to the mesial side and the cingulum appears a bit distally displaced. So all these features will help you identify the maxillary central incisor. In the second diagram, the tooth appears almost rhomboid with mesiodistal dimension almost equal to the facio-lingual dimension. The cingulum appears more prominent than the maxillary central incisor and also it appears roughly at the center mesiodistally. 
the labial surface also exhibits greater convexity as compared to the central incisor and the labial surface has a notch on the distal side and the crown appears more bulky on the mesial side so all these features will help you identify the maxillary lateral incisor in the third and fourth tooth you will notice that the labiolingual dimension is greater than the mesiodistal dimension and this feature is common to the mandibular incisors in the third diagram the tooth appears almost symmetrical with mesial and distal outlines similar the cingulum is in the center and the incisor edge is straight mesiodistally basically from this view you cannot differentiate between the mesial and distal sides so the tooth is mandibular central incisor in the fourth diagram you will notice that the incisor edge is not straight it curves lingually in the distal portion and the cingulum appears distally displaced so these features will help you identify the mandibular lateral incisor so that's all for now friends i hope the video was helpful and if it was really helpful do like comment and share the video and please don't forget to subscribe thank you